I don't have much of an intro for this one. We're getting right into the Battlefield Fortress. me then you know damn well why i'm excited to play this stage because we finally get to play as Mars, one of my favorite characters well Mars is, a, Mars is a strange case swordsman he's obviously he's obviously a swordsman and his sword does actually more damage if you can hit an enemy near the tip of your blade which is really nice and mars obviously fire emblem and if you know me you know i love fire emblem But this game is a weird one for the Fire Emblem series. This game came out when Fire Emblem had just received its initial releases on the Wii and the GameCube. Just not in that order, obviously. And sure this is in 4 when we had a Fire Emblem rivaling Mario and Pokemon for the number of reps. Well, technically it had the same number of reps as Pokemon, which is really freaking cool. Anyway, down B counter. But Fire Emblem always has had a special place in my heart. Sure, I didn't really care about it when Marth and the other Fire Emblem character were in this game. But all in all, Fire Emblem has had a special place in my heart, and every time I go back and play this game, I always get excited to play the stage because this is where Marth comes in. And if you don't know who Marth is, he's basically the ancestor of all the Fire Emblem characters. Anyway, you're gonna wanna go up here, throw the key at the door, roll to avoid this, and go in this door. Here will be your trophy slash CD. In my case, it is another CD. I'm getting really lucky with the CDs. The Let's Play Curse is actually being nice to me. Heart container, I needed that, because, well, I'm kind of rusty as Marth. In 4, my Fire Emblem names usually are Robin and Corrin. And a little bit, I do play a little bit of Lucina. And let's get rid of you. Come to, come to the blade. Avoid that. Okay, get that. Anyway, now you got two paths you can take. You can either go up or down, and I'm gonna go down. Roll to avoid you. The reason you want to come down here is there's an extra stock if you need it. Grab that bomb. Launch it at you guys. Fail to counter that. Grab that. And now there's really no way to get through this door. But since you're playing as Marth, hold B. And there you go. His standard special is what you call Shield Break. If an enemy is shielding and he's fully charged, it will instantly break the shield. And then we got these guys. I'm gonna try to beat them out. Yes! These guys are so easy. These guys can be easy to counter. Anyway, up special is Dolphin Slash. And I failed to do that. Side special. If you input directions while pr doing the rapid uh, press of the of side B, you change direction. 
Also, I need I need to get this out. It's a for the next Smash game. Marth better have an English voice actor. We need Yuri. We need Yuri. Lo we need Yuri. Lo um, whatever his name is. He's the guy who uh, does Marth's voice in like everything now. Definitely the preferred Marth voice. I don't know. I would really like it if in the next ma if in uh, Smash Switch we had Marth finally have an English voice actor. Be really nice, cause I'm cause I'm so good up. Come at me. Gotcha. Anyway, let's get that and go through this door. As the most broken character in Brawl appears, you can bet we're gonna play as him for this part! Now what makes Meta Knight so broken? Well, for starters, all of his moves are reco have recovery potential, most of his moves are multi-hit, and overall, he's just mean. Here. Also, I really like the, this remix of Meta Knight's Revenge from, I can't remember the Kirby game that this is from. Buckots definitely want to kill those first. wanted to do the side B right there. Come on, get him. There we go. Nice, get that. Brief. Want to get you out of the way. Do it. You can bet your ass I'm gonna die eventually. It's not gonna be in this guy. No, no. <laughs> New enemy, auto turret. Take off their helmet and they go frantic. Grab another stock. Definitely gonna need that. Grab two more max tomatoes for a perfect recovery. Definitely gonna need it because this next part is an auto scroller. Wanna grab that trophy because that will go towards your stage completion. Oops. 
Oh wait, what am I doing? I gotta let you. I'm at one point when the song starts looping back, I definitely gotta shut up and let you guys listen because this is a classic. This is a classic Fire Emblem song. Get the. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Should be looping back any second now. Here it comes! the battle theme from Fire Emblem 7, otherwise known as Fire Emblem, aka Fire Emblem Blazing Sword, probably one of my favorite games in the series. One of the older ones, still a special place in my heart. Anyway, let's move on. We're gonna head down, and another new mechanic! Minecars! This will automatically advance, you can jump out of them with a... Pretty straightforward. Anyway, on to, on to how much more Fire Emblem nerd I am. This song, I believe, this song is called Crimean Army Something. I know it's from Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. One of the only Fire Emblem games to this day I have not played because it's really hard to find. Apparently, well, the Fire Emblem game, uh, the Fire Emblem game on Wii U. No, not Wii U. There wasn't a Fire Emblem game on Wii U unless you count Tokyo Mirage Sessions, which was weird, but it was a fun game. Anyway, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance on GameCube and Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn on Wii, they're kind of notoriously hard to find because, well, of a few things. One, Path of Radiance was a really difficult Fire Emblem game after, after Sacred Stones, which was the last installment, was pretty easy. And then Radiant Dawn had a translation issue when it came to the difficulty. So, people regarded it as really hard. Honestly, uh, I really wish Nintendo would bring those games back because I'm, I'm dying to play them at some point. I really want to. And if I ever do get my hands on them, you can bet I'll do a blind playthrough. Alright, you're going to want to jump out of the minecars right before they hit the edge, otherwise you will die. And anyway, we're just going to start plowing through all these enemies. Boom. Dead. Dead. Jump out. Let's let the Meta Knight glide us to the top. A fireable path of radiance. There is one choice here. Ike is fucking awesome. All right, getting into Ike. Heavy hitter deals a lot of damage. now is actually Ike's theme from P Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Probably one of my favorite songs from the entire game. Even though I have not played it, I've heard this song plenty of times. I 
still love it. Anyway, getting into in how I fight, I'm trying to pull off his up threshold. Ether. This is a recovery attack that when executed, it will actually come back down. And as you can see there, I took a hit but didn't take damage. This is what's known as super armor. Certain attacks, if you... Stop it. Oh, poop. Oh, that was a poor start. The Nogogs and the Buckets are a really mean combo, especially since the Buckets can be really hard to hit. Anyway, that's like Back to Mark. Let's go. Probably my favorite one just because, well, Martha and I are in it. Pretty good haul. And we got Lips theme. Kind of meh. Shooting stars meme here. glad that only King DDD was around to see you get molested by Waddledees, because I'm pretty sure anyone would be humiliated by that. Anyway, that stage definitely took up a lot of time today, so we're going to be saving the forest for next time. <laughs>